Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I've got another mail call for you. Now this arrived yesterday, and before we get started, I wanted to show you another drink that I quite enjoy. Now you've probably only seen me drink mainly whiskey on this channel, and occasionally the odd lager. But I actually really like my red wine. And this 19 Crimes is one of my favourite brands of red wine. Now, I haven't actually tried this one before. This one, it says it's infused with coffee. It says infused with a shot of cold brew coffee. So I'm really interested to see how that tastes. I never used to like anything that had coffee in it. So for example, I didn't used to like coffee cake and things like that, or coffee chocolates. But as time's gone on and I've got older, I started to enjoy things that had coffee in them. And I actually quite like a, a coffee in the morning. So let's pop this open. I've got the camera set up a slightly higher angle, just why I get this poured. So you can see the bottle and everything. But once I've got this in the glass, I will be rearranging the whole setup to make it a little bit more visually appealing. I thought it would be quite cool to show you the process of how I like my red wine. And this is a brand new bottle, so you can't actually see the top of it, but I'm just taking the cork off now. And I'm actually quite happy that you can't see my bottle opener because it looks like it came out of a Kinder Egg. And I do need to upgrade my bottle opener to something a little bit more classy. So do leave your suggestions in the comment section. This is the one I'm currently using. Very flimsy, but does the job. So here we go. We're going to tip this in here now. And I'll be interested to hear in the comment section if anyone knows what this device is and what it does. So do leave your comments down below if you know what this is. But it's how I like to serve my red wine. So I'm gonna adjust the camera angle now, and I've only put that in this glass so that it would fit on the camera. You've got to have a wine glass when you're having a nice glass of red wine. So I will be transferring that over now. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, welcome back to the video. So, as you can see, we have a mail call here. Now, I don't know how long these are going to stand up against this five kilogram copper bar. It'll be interesting to see. They kept falling over when I was doing my setup. So it'll be interesting to see how long they last. I'm just going to have a sip of this wine to see what it tastes like. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's actually infused with coffee. So let's see how it tastes. Mm, it's actually quite nice. You can really smell the coffee as you're going to have a sip. You can really smell the kind of coffee, the coffee beans. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. Now, nothing beats the original version of 19 Crimes red wine. Really, really unique taste. And if you haven't tried it and you like red wine, I highly recommend you give it a try. Really, really nice. One of my favourite, if not my favourite red wines. Right, so like I said, this arrived yesterday. And it's all the way from the US and really, really cool wax seal there. I don't know if you can make that out because the lighting is not fantastic, but it says SG Stacking and that stands for Supreme Ginger Stacker. Someone that I've been following for some time now. Really, really cool. And I really hope they've included some of their stickers because they have literally one of the best logos in my opinion out of the whole stacking community really really cool looking channel logo so let's get straight into the unboxing now i'm expecting a piece of gold to be in here because i actually went on to peg leg stackers video he does those competitions you know where you bet like five dollars or $3, whatever the amount is, and then they do duck races, and your name goes on a duck. For those of you that have seen APM's channel, he's done, done that fairly recently for one of his channel giveaways, and it's really, really cool. And I got involved in a couple of races, I think myself, 
future investments and APM, along with a couple of others from Stacker Social, got involved in these races. And like I said, I actually won one of them and it was a piece of gold. Now, Supreme Ginger Stacker was also co-hosting the event and he said he was due to send me something soon. So he would happily send this piece of gold with his mail call. So really, really cool. I didn't have to actually pay postage for the, the piece of gold that I won. So the piece of gold literally only cost me the $5 to enter the race. Wow, there's a load of stuff in here. Supreme, what have you sent me? There's a load of stuff in here. Really nicely protected. Wow, okay. Don't even know where to start. It's like a mystery box. Right, so we have two tubes. Two empty tubes. Let me put them to one side. Right, is there a, yeah, there's a note here. 365, sending great stacking vibes your way. Supreme Ginger Stacker. And again, there's that awesome wax seal that was on the outside of the box. Now, I've only actually seen two other members of the community that have their own wax seal. And that is the Stack Collector and Cobra Stacker. Really, really cool. Really classy. Wow, okay, there's there's a load of stuff in here. Look at this. Wow, I hope this light is doing it justice. I was trying to film in daylight, but I've had to put the main light on because the daylight's not very good today. Look at this, though. It's like a... like a gold back, but a different version... It's colorized as well. 2024 Trump. I don't even know what it is. Is it, is it a type of gold back? Is it a different? Has it even got gold in it? It might not even have gold in it. Wow, this is really cool. Federal Reserve note 2024. This note is not legal tender for any debt. So it's almost like a commemorative piece. Wow, it's actually really, really nice. Now, I'm gonna to have to show this off better in a future video, because like I said, the daylight's not doing it justice here. I can't see anywhere that says it actually contains gold, so it might not actually contain gold. I think it, oh, it does. Wow, look, 24 karat gold. Wow. Now that is really something. It's actually quite thick as well. I wonder how much gold is actually inside this note. Supreme, this is so generous of you. I've never seen anything like this before. Absolutely stunning piece. Look at that. Really, really cool. Really, really cool piece. Wow, okay. I did not expect there to be so much stuff in here. Okay, right, we're going to put that to one side. I'm going to have a quick sip of red wine. Right, okay, I don't really know where to start. So we've got the channel sticker that I was talking about. And I truly mean that. This is one of the best channel stickers I've seen in the entire community. Really, really pops. Really, really nice looking channel sticker. A nice size as well. Nice quality, nice and thick. SG Stacker. Supreme Ginger Stacker. And I like the fact it's got gold and silver in the logo. And that dragon there that just curls around it. Really, really cool channel logo. Pop that over there. Right, okay, so this was the piece of gold that I was talking about that I actually won in one of the duck races on Peg Leg Stacker's channel. Really, really cool. And like I said, I think the race that I won this on was only $5 to play. Now I did play the race a couple of times. I think I might have paid it maybe three times. So essentially this probably cost me around about, let's say three pounds 50 is the conversion rate from $5, about 11, 12 pounds possibly. So still really, really nice price for a one gram gold bar. And look at the back of it. It's got like a hologram effect on the back. And I would say this has got to be 
a minimum of £80 for this piece if I was to buy this new. So absolute bargain. Well worth heading over and playing some of the duck races on either Peg Leg Stackers channel or the Supreme Ginger Stackers channel because they both do duck races. Absolutely fantastic piece of gold to add to the stack. Right, next we have some more channel stickers here. Dragon Sickness. Really, really cool. Now Supreme, are these a different version of your stickers or is Dragon Sickness another channel? Please do let me know. Really, really nice pieces. Look at them, they've got this kind of holographic effect to them as well. Really, really nice. Pop those over there. Now look at all these bits. Now I was not expecting all of these bits as well. I was just expecting a channel sticker and the one gram gold bar that I won on the giveaway. Wow, okay, right. So I don't really know what I'm looking at. So I'm gonna have to research these. The stat collector, you might be able to help me. So the first piece is a one cent. It's got a maple leaf on there. Canada, 1956. Really cool, interesting looking coin. Do let me know any more information about these coins as this video goes on, for those of you that know a little bit more about them. Because it's not really my expertise, these more circulated older coins. I have no idea what coin this is. It says 1978 on there. On the back, it's got this logo here. Like I said, I'm really not familiar with coins like this. I'm really out of my comfort zone, even trying to describe these coins. I don't know if they contain any silver content or anything like that. So again, please do let me know. Now this one, it's fallen down a little bit in the flip. I believe it says 1950 on there. And you can see it says five something on the back. Wow, these are really cool. These are coins that I've never seen before. And I definitely haven't got anything like this in my stack. So really, really cool pieces. The next one, this one's falling in the flip a little bit. There we go. Now this next one says 1972. Really cool design. And I recognize this design on the back. That is the Mexican coat of arms. Really, really interesting looking coin. Next we have, oh, this is cool, 1954, and it's got a, is it a dolphin on there? Looks like a dolphin design. Really, really cool. I have no idea where this is from. Does that say Italian on there, does it? I have to look at these off camera in better lighting. Really cool looking coin. I really like the dolphin on this one. Is it a dolphin or a whale? I don't think it's a shark. That looks really cool though. Next we have a da, 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 1941. It says Liberty on there. One cent. United States of America. Wow, what a cool collection this is. So, so generous, Supreme. Thank you so much for sending me these pieces. It says USA. It's got two guns there and a flag. Here we go. This one makes it a bit easier for me to know if it's got precious metal in it. One gram of three nines fine silver. Wow, look at that. Really, really cool piece. Really like that. Really nice, it flips that way. Very, very nice. Next we have a another Mexican 
coin, I believe. And this says one mil, I think. Tax token. Oh, that's interesting. One mil tax token. I'm really excited to see what those of you are saying in the comment section after you see these coins because I definitely need some help identifying these. 1978, so some really historic coins here. Look at that design. And there we go, Mexican coat of arms. So at least I could identify a couple of these where they're from. Wow, really, really nice. Now do let me know in the comment section the history behind these coins. Please let me know if they contain metal content, what their numismatic history is and all the rest of it. Thank you very, very much for watching today's video. Like I said, we've got some empty tubes here, which I absolutely love. This is the most motivating way, in my opinion, to continue stacking. I've touched upon it in many videos in the past. That if you're slowing down on stacking or you're losing motivation, buy yourself an empty tube and you'll want to fill it. You won't want to have a couple of coins in there. You'll want to get it filled. The same as what happened with these American Silver Eagles in the back here. I brought this empty tube and then I kept filling it up as the weeks and months went by. And I've actually filled this up now. So that's a whole tube of 20 American Silver Eagles. And I've got those to use in my videos alongside the Britannia tube that I also use in my videos. Really, really nice pieces of silver. All different years as well. So it's quite cool when I'm going through these. They're all type two because that's the design I wanted to fill the tube with. But and they're all different years. Really cool. But yeah, thank you very much Supreme for sending me this fantastic mail call. Extremely generous of you. Thank you very much to Peg Leg Stacker if you're watching this video for giving me the opportunity to win this on one of your duck races. I don't even know if it was a duck race. I think it might have been a clown race actually. I think there was clowns all running along, which is quite cool, something a bit different. Really, really like that. And those of you that are long-term subscribers of my channel will know that I absolutely love my one gram gold. I really, really like to stack it. I have over one ounce now in one gram gold form. So really, really cool. Although it costs quite a premium and I have made a video comparing all of my one gram gold pieces, the premiums compared to if I was to just buy a one ounce piece of gold. But I do really prefer them because I think they're going to perform very, very well in the future. And if we have one more look at this note before we wrap up the video. Absolutely incredible. This has probably got to be my favourite piece out of everything that Supreme has sent me. Really, really like this. Really cool. I like how it's got a little bit of colour to it on the tie and on the face. But there's not too much colour makes it look really classy and the fact that it's 24 karat gold as well what a really cool piece i've never seen anything like this before there was actually someone and i keep forgetting to make a video on it so i will try and find them and attach them to the back of this video but there was someone that sent me an email a few months back now showcasing some sterling notes some british sterling notes that were like the equivalent to the gold back where they were actually made out of gold and I wanted to get around to making a video on them, but I never actually got around to it. So what I'll do, I'll include those in the back of today's video so that you can see them. Because there are other products out there, although this won't be able to be spent the same as a gold back. So it hasn't got the same utility as the gold back. And that's the main selling point for a gold back. The fact that you can actually use it to pay for things. There are still other things out there like this that are more collectible that also contain pieces of real gold. So yeah, really, really cool. So like I said, thank you very, very much to Supreme Ginger Stacker. Please do head over and check out his channel. I actually asked him to email me a few bits about himself and how he got into stacking so I could read them out on today's video. And he said, I started stacking at the beginning of 2023 and I'd started making YouTube videos soon after. I've lived in Lower USA my whole life. I hope I said that right. Or was it Ohio? Ohio? I think I might have butchered that. Ohio, I think. 
and shows how much I know about my um, USA states. My whole life, my first ever bullion purchase was from Money Metals online bullion dealer. It was a 10 ounce generic Money Metals branded silver bar. So he wasn't messing around when he first started stacking. He didn't mess around and go out and buy himself a, a one ounce silver coin. He went straight out there and bought himself a 10 ounce bar. So hats off to you. What a great way to start your stacking journey. He goes on to say, I stack for fun and enjoyment in the hobby of stacking and think of it as a fun way of saving money. So yeah, really, really cool. And that is a great way of looking at stacking precious metals, looking at it like a hobby. And it's a great fun way of saving money. Saving money is never really that fun to me. It's never really appealed to me. And that's why I've never been fantastic at holding on to fiat currency. But once I discovered this stuff, it really is a fun way of converting your fiat currency into something that over a long period of time is going to not only hold its value, but also go up in value. So as your fiat currency is getting devalued day by day, as they print more and more, even more so once CBDCs are released, in my opinion, this stuff is holding its value and going up because it's only a limited supply. There's only so much of this stuff in the ground there's only so much of this stuff that can be mined whereas fiat currency it's unlimited and like i said even more so when cbdc's are introduced and it's even easier to physically print currency because they don't actually have to print it onto physical notes or anything they just change the numbers on the screen so yeah that's what's to come as always thanks very much for watching today's video thank you very much for all the support Big shout out to all the 365 Club members. Cheers. Let me know if you like red wine. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like coffee in cake and in drinks and things like that? And as always, I hope you have a very nice day. So we have two empty tubes, which I absolutely love because I love... Mexican coat of arms on there. F me, this is ridiculous. This light.